Hi everybody, this is Photon EM, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Spaced Out DLC full release. This is episode, I think, 16. So we are deep in it. And um, I'm just going to show you, I let it run for quite a while so that we could build up some plastic, which I screwed up, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So over here on Hazardora, I put in these solar panels. Um, and I also made a bunch of Atmos suits so we can convert this to Atmos suits. And on Flipido, I put in some Atmos suits so they're just working on getting rid of this shit, which I'm not in a hurry. I don't know if I'll ever even finish that project. And I'm also digging out our resources over here. Um, which is, as I mentioned before, kind of stupid because it makes all the oxygen fill this, which I could have prevented but didn't bother because I don't really plan on this being a long-term playthrough. Um, over here on Bautista, we I put in some natural gas generators because I figured that'd be a good way to supply this with energy. So these run first. And I also got access to this and we researched it, so um, we got a few data banks after that, out of that. Down here, this ladder did not work. They couldn't reach the oil well from there. So because this was overpressurized for so long, it actually stopped making crude oil, which stopped making petroleum, which stopped making plastic. So. Um, so we didn't produce a lot of plastic in that amount of time, but we have some. And let's see what do we got in here. So maybe I should put some more food in here. Um, I think we've got both of these. Just just to get them going, because I don't know. Let's see how long. I don't know how long he's gonna be out into space, but. Yeah, whatever. He's not going far. He's just gonna go into orbit as far as I know. So let's do crew. Oops. Crew is gonna be just Harold. Let's make sure that's all correct. Yeah, get out of there. Okay, here. Oh, did I make a dis- Here we can change destinations. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> I guess I did it. I don't know. I think because I don't think I've done this kind of research before, but I think we can just pop out here and do the research. And then when he runs out of air or electricity or food, we can come back. Um, and you have to launch from outside, which is another thing they could fix. It'd be fine. Begin launch sequence. Oh, and then... Okay. Oh, I have it paused. Oh my god. Also inside here, I had this disconnected. Oh. Really? This is stupid. It won't let me connect it. Is there some other way? Oh. Uh, I had disconnected it because we're gonna have to fucking deconstruct some wire or come back. Okay. Wow, real sticklers for how much. Let's see, okay, uh, yes, make those forever, please. Okay, he seems to be doing it. So that's great. I had to take down the wall toilet and put in an outhouse because, um, let's assign this to Harold. The wall toilet needs water, and I wasn't paying attention to that, so. Um, and also these won't grow because it's too hot in here, just barely. But yeah, now I guess 
Um, I just keep an eye on this, which is obviously not my thing. Um, but, uh, let's see. How much, uh, let's go back there. And in here, we want to track data banks. Okay, four is not a lot. <laughs> um, but, oh, yeah, this too, this can be open. Do I have all these set the way I want them? Okay. And how did that... Okay, so the pot's decor. The arrow pot is providing positive decor, so that's good. Um, so a couple other options in here. First of all, this could have a dupe sensor. Right? That used to be a thing. Is that still a thing? Um, this could have a dupe sensor and then um, the electricity shut off. And then if there's no dupe in this room, these are both off. And if there is a dupe, they're on. Uh, that would work pretty well. Um, I just didn't feel like changing it. Uh, the other thing is, I need to make Harold. Prioritize, um, where? God. I need to make him prioritize tidying so that he does this. Okay, cool. How much data do we have? 12. So now, um, yeah, they're idle on, on these two planets, which I don't even care about. So let me talk about. This is not going to be a long-term playthrough. I just wanted to test a couple things like the database research and to see what that was like. They're almost out of algae over here. Um, and I wanted to test, uh, I guess, the cartography. We'll see if we get that far. If it were going to be a long-term, I would put a, something here, probably, um, straight across here, which would be uh, where an atmosuit dock would be, and then that would those atmosuits would cover this whole planet. So they would cover going outside and down here, so we don't have all this gas escaping up here. Plus, normally I would close this in more, so that um, the natural gas wouldn't be dissipated over this whole huge area. But, um, it caused them a ton of stress just to go in here to do this. For one thing, they got popped ears because there was so much gas built up, but, um, you know, they can't breathe so they have to come in and out, in and out. So I put in this massage table right next to the volcano, so, um, can they go above? I don't know if the cutoff is 25 or 30 for those 30, okay, so that can actually grow right there. Um, yeah, everywhere else is 29 or, or 30 or above. Um, so right next to the volcano here, we've got our massage room. Uh, but yeah, long term, I would, that's what I would do. I'd put that there, and then I'd probably turn all of this into a biome for producing oil. Clearly we're not producing enough of it. And I would put an interplanetary launcher right here so I could launch steel and plastic towards Hazardora and other planets that I might develop. And um, depending on how far we go with this, I still might. I would tame this water. I built in all this wall so that I don't lose my liquid lock here. <laughs> um, right now, it's erupting, so I have to put on hold the idea of taming it because there's no easy way to get this out. You could get out the oxygen and polluted oxygen by filtering steam back in, and then everything else comes out. Um, so that would work, but anyway, um, I might even, if this were long-term, put the living areas down here, where it's naturally a little cooler. Um, and we're all, and then, of course, like this would be a high priority, so that, because we're almost out of algae. Um, I do have some polluted dirt over here, so we could put in a sublimation sta station, I guess. Over here, I would dump this magma. 
into here so I can try to tame this um, liquid sulfur geyser. And I'm still proceeding as if that's what I were going to do. <laughs> but I probably won't. Um, and here I would put in the cooling that I talked about many times. And I would set up the Dracos so that they were part of this system, either to get drowned or, or to get reborn. Um, wouldn't be processing metal or as much metal over here, but if I did process metal, it would have its own cooler, not this. Oh, that reminds me, I guess for some reason I thought, oh, it looks like I did Let's hook it up accidentally. Oops. Um, I thought that Oh, that didn't work very well because of the salt water. Oh well. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, so what we really should do is deconstruct this so that it doesn't pump more water in when that's not running. I put way too much salt water in here. So it's going to take a long time to engage this, but I don't think we care. Um, and I... Oh. I was gonna say I deconstructed the wrong thing, but I don't think I did. We're just struggling to deconstruct it underwater. We don't need that stuff. Okay. So the salt water is 32 degrees right now. 31. And over here it's 45. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, what do I have this set to? 16. Um, over here I'd put in a nuclear power plant uh, because there's clearly not enough power. And I also did kind of want to run an experiment with these beta hives where you could have a chamber and you could drop pip eggs into it and then, um, you know, have the... Um, have some gas capture right there so that you could just um, produce continual hydrogen with your excess pips. Not that I, you know, would ever treat pips that way or anything. Um, it looks like I have enough acorns to start using pips right here too. I kind of wanted to try that but I kind of don't. Like I'm kind of also just over it a little bit. Uh, yeah, and then they these ones, I was like, why aren't they mining the rest of this uranium? They actually are. If you see how much uranium ore is here, just the tiles as they come have about 100 kilograms, and these are all way low. I guess they just prefer to mine left and right instead of above, but see, these ones have mined all the way around here. I don't know if they can reach any further than this, though. So this one, this is all frozen solid nuclear waste. Um, this one probably needs a little assistance. Oh, there it goes. It got all the way down there. Oh, they are mining this down there. It just takes a little longer. So, <clears throat> yeah. And also I did figure out I was being stupid. <clears throat> Big surprise. These betas <clears throat> eat carbon dioxide. So that's where all the CO2 went on this planet. However, it doesn't really explain the chlorine, because we had a lot more chlorine before from using the rusty oxidizer. Um, this chlorine, I think, was already there. As you can see, there's chlorine. Their habitats are chlorinated. This one's full of oxygen because of us piping it, or us producing so much of it. So I don't know how the chlorine disappeared from here. And then on this planet, I was like... Now, how did my CO2 go away from this area? But, you know, today I realized, of course, it had frozen. And there's frozen CO2 down here. I mean, I realized it when I was thinking about it after the game, not just today, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, okay, so this is about to pump, and what I've got set up is that this one here has priority. Um, so this gas won't pipe on until this pipe is empty. 
because we need to make sure that we keep this below 5 kilograms or these will turn off. Right now I'm not making enough CO2, uh, crude oil for two of these, so that's fine. So again, if this were long term, I'd put all my steel manufacturing over here. <laughs> this is where the fossil and the fossil is and the petroleum. So, <clears throat> and now we're starting to build up petroleum, so we probably could do a petroleum engine. Uh, starvation. Okay, so Harold is starving. So we are going to send him back home. Okay, um, I do have three arbor acorns now. So I'm going to set this to auto wrangle surplus. And I also put one here so we can drop off a pip. Um, okay, I'm, I, there's a lot of shine bugs over here which is going to mess this up. I don't know. Whatever. We can drop off a pip or two and, you know, see if they'll rummage some acorns out of here. So now this is going to need to be sweep only because the pips will dump them out. And I think, um, hopefully they'll just, you know, bring some over. Oh, the fucking shine bugs. Okay. These ones, I always think K is kill. But he isn't. K is sweep. As you know. Okay, so we'll just kill those little buggers. And get some pips down in here. And hopefully over here. We'll get one or two. Um, and... Yeah. The other option would be to dump some of these eggs in these places, but... That sounds like a lot of hassle. Um, what's going on in Spirit of Vessel? I guess it's not inside that we're worried about. Although, I think I needed... This to be one higher to get in there. I'm not sure. Um, let's prioritize that. How much polluted oxygen is that? Not very much. Okay. So we don't care. And we're almost out of algae again, so I will and dig up some of that while we build our rocket. Well, the game crashed, but I don't think you missed much. The only thing you missed was me looking at this and seeing that this rocket needs an oxidizer tank. Which I know we can use fertilizer and we do have some of that on this planet. So I'm going to put in a small one, and then I might put in my favorite thing right here. You think it's okay with lead? No, let's do iron. And then put in my ladder all the way up there. Um, and we'll move this like this. Yeah. Okay, so fertilizer. I know we have some here because it's in the sandstone biome. Um, looks like I made that so they can't get across. Yeah, we're almost out of algae, so it's going to be a big problem. I wonder if there's any algae here we could just shoot it at them. Because I might have printed some from the printing pod. Nope. Over here, they're likely to have some, so... Although I know it was, like, desperate over here as well. Organic. Okay. Algae. No. Okay, let's just take care of this and then we'll talk about fertilizer. So this thing can take in algae. We could also shoot our polluted dirt at them too. 
Um, and they could, there's bleach stone over there, so they could also do uh, rest yet oxidizing. Okay, so one thing I was thinking about is you can make fertilizer. And yeah, polluted water, dirt, and phosphorite. We've got all that stuff. We don't have a ton of polluted water, but... Uh, let's see. Okay, those are not built yet. <coughs> the other... <coughs> God damn it. The other thing I want is a priority six. So I haven't really been talking that much today, so I'm not sure why my voice is so bad today. In, in general, I usually know, but in this particular instance, I don't. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I thought these would be close enough, but they're not. Okay. Ah. Actually, yeah, we should build this ladder so we can mine that as well. But as you can see, there's a there's fertilizer around. Um but I'm pretty sure I grabbed every last piece of algae now. Oh, there's a tiny bit right there. Well, there's fertilizer there too, so maybe I will just help myself into there. Um, maybe I won't kill the plants though. Uh, they are actually still helping me. Let's see. Because you can see that we're pretty low on food over here. Um, this is a little bit harder to dig into, but if we go like this, that should work. And there's a buried- I'll just grab a couple buried objects while I'm there. Okay. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, I only had it take the overflow of petroleum, which might have been a mistake. Probably was a mistake. But it's getting really close. Oh, I've got it on slow. Okay. And then I think I turned this thing off. Yeah. And, oh, holy shit. I also turned this thing off. I don't know if it'll matter now, because now they, they've already been shot, but we'll see. Can you see him coming down from this height? There they come! Oh, yay! Hopefully, oh yeah, it's algae. And I had it set to 127 because of the mealwood. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in there. 200 kilograms. Alright. Um, I'm gonna change that to 200. Because it saves us on energy. Oops. Okay, so this thing is so we can shoot plastic and steel back over to here. But, I don't need it right now. The only way to get enough radiation over here is through the sun. So. That's like not very much. It doesn't cost us now that I have, now that I'm harvesting from the sky, it, I guess it only costs me the cost to run the, um, the launcher. So we'll stick fertilizer in there. Of course, I don't know how much, so I'll just do max. Um, I also don't know if the rocket calculator, you know, that website, if it 
does the new rockets. And I also don't know how much fertilizer I have on this planet. So much unknown. Alright. Why does it have contents? Hmm. Oh, it's still building, that's why. Not done building. Okay, cool. Because my thought is, I can fly to here and back easily with all the oxygen and stuff that he has. That's not a problem. Um, let's see. Also, I could put in that automation that I was talking about before. Why are you sleeping here? Don't sleep there right now. We got a lot of plastic. Let's cap that at 5,000. Um, I forgot what I was thinking. Hopefully, yeah, the food. What do they eat? 800 a day, I think, or something like that. So he should have a hundred days worth? That can't be right. No, thirty days worth. Jesus. Um, okay, what was I gonna look at, you guys? What? Okay, we've got fertilizer in there. We've got petroleum in there, it looks like. Is this... no, we don't. Okay. Um. Oh. Why did I do it this way? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna change it. Yeah, we can always change it back. So let's go like this. This really doesn't have to be insulated inside of here. So I think, yeah. If you don't know this trick, if you click on this and select build, then you can select to add it to a different kind of pipe or a different pipe made, that's made out of something else and it will uh, not overwrite what's already there so that's how you can that's how you can connect them before they're already built and then you wait till they're already built and you join them and then say cancel it doesn't work with every little single thing though so So, we've got a lot of it. That might be all that we have, though. Yeah, that's it. I don't really want to give myself, you know, less of a chance, less time in space. Although, likely the oxygen or the power is going to run out first. Okay, here. Oh yeah, we'll have to go like that to get in. Last piece of algae can come. Okay, there's definitely more fertilizer, you guys. Um, I mean, I don't have a ton of polluted water to make it. No, let's see, cultivable soil. Okay, there's some. There's some that I can't see. That I didn't, that I will dig up once, um, oh, there's muck root there, so we're gonna dig that. There's some. Oh. Uh, okay. And down here. Okay, 
Uh, I'll get that in a minute. And that's probably it. You don't usually get a ton of it on your map. Oops. And, and over here there was one that was, yeah, not really visible. Okay, now that the ceiling is dug out, we can dig this. But we wouldn't have been able to reach before. Oh, there's algae as well. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, we saw that before, but I just hadn't selected it. Uh, okay, I'll just dig that for completion's sake. You don't get a lot, but you usually get some fertilizer on your map. And I can't remember if I said this, but I queued up Lyslof since I don't care about the water. I think I did say it, but... Um, we can put in some more water pumps over in these areas that we're digging up now. And I might move the microbe musher now that there's water a little closer to camp. Okay. Like this. Dig up some buried objects while I'm at it. And then we'll get the sand like just like before. Um, and if we're too starving, we can start murdering hatches. I think we're doing okay though. See, so there's not much lice loaf and I think... I'm sure the cook has that as their first priority. So... Um, what we want to do here is... let's just do this. We'll just do it right. Um, And I do want to switch over to the new wire, but I'll do it in a, in a bit. Mostly getting the rocket going and staying alive are the two priorities. Okay, so now... Rocket range remaining is 10 tiles. I can't remember the speed of the other one. Was it one tile per cycle? Okay, so our destination is going to be here. I'm just wondering how many artifacts these can hold. And I chose not to deal with to do the water. Although I guess I could have gotten water from here. Um, I didn't think of doing that. Plus I already have hype running all the way up here. So I chose to just stick with the outhouse for now. Um, okay. Well, let's do it. Ain't no time like the present. This time, Harold is gonna get to eat. It's not gonna be good, but it's gonna be edible. Harold, you can eat those things. All right. So I, I don't know. Before we could pick up from here, which would also be one, two, three, four, five. Is this no? This won't recharge for a little while. Let's see if we can pick up that artifact without on from an ore field without a drill cone. And then I'm going to see if just flying into the darkness uncovers that without the cartographer module module will do around you. Speaking of, let's go here. How, how are we doing on researching that? Okay. We're just short on the applied science. All right. And he's going like crazy. Oh, I meant to put in that um, stuff, but he didn't do the stuff. Maybe I'll dig up a bunch more of leaf. I can't queue it up right now, so that's fine.
Cool. All right. Three units. Cool. Star map. All right. So, uh, 1.2 cycles. In flight to empty space. Hmm. How do you figure? How is it? Why isn't it? It should. Uh, let's see. 1.3 per day, and we're going two tiles out or three? I think it only counts as two. Yeah. No. The reason I'm not sure is it doesn't, I don't think, cost you any fuel just to go up and down, like, just to go into orbit. Or it didn't at first. So. So, I forgot to um, re-enable this building. So we had a little accident, but you know, it's okay. I think, oh, you know, I was talking about what I would do on each planet and I'll just like, on this planet, you would tame all of these volcanoes and get either a rocket or some kind of means to send them back and forth. Um, to send it to whatever planet you wanted to have it on. Because uh, I don't think your main things are the gold. Well, I guess you don't need, I don't know, maybe the gold just for its heat resistant, you know, just because it adds some heat resistance. Your iron, for sure, and your aluminum for things like um, cooling loops and any time you needed to transfer any kind of cooling. So, how are we doing? Still 14, okay. So, yeah, yeah, 0.2 cycles. And this time I know what to look for. Doesn't make me less of an idiot. Just means I know what to look for. Um, I'm just thinking about, you know, one possibility for future is that sorry yeah no this counts as one tile i was saying i didn't know if it counted as a tile but it does so this rocket has to go three tiles which should take you know just over two cycles because it goes 2.6 in two cycles but maybe it has been that long i can't remember um So we've got plenty of oxygen still. Uh oh. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I must not have had those pipes filled up because I must have aimed wrong or something. Because I don't. S there's no way he breathed all of that in this amount of time. But we still should have plenty because this is a huge space. But, uh, I'm gonna have to go here and go back, I think. Okay, so this. Artifact. Collected. Alright. So we'll just go back into orbit instead of trying this, and we'll just try it next time. We'll try um, going out to the black area. Although by then we might have the- oh, we do have it! We just got it! Cartographic module. Cool. Uh-oh. Oh, are we out of dirt? With all the digging I've been doing, it's hard to believe. No? We're not out of dirt? Is nobody set to tidy? Bautista. We don't need that. Mima, what's your deal? Mima's mopping. Why are you mopping instead of doing this? 14 visits remaining. 15. Hmm. Wait, what? Okay, so maybe I will just come back all the way back, since we can now uh, add the cartographic module. 
And we can also figure out what research to do. Um, Red Bolt Engine is a, an option. Uh, I guess I can build this now. I just need to shoot some materials at the other planet, actually, and I could build a reactor. Drill cone might be another thing that could be fun to play with. Um, it's going to take a lot longer to do this research because it's the next tier. Ooh, really long time on that applied science. I might actually have to make things different to get that, but it doesn't really matter. Our goal is to test out the cartographic module, so that's what we're going to do. And I don't think we have an artist here who can study those artifacts. So I'll just leave them in. Okay. Oh, and then one more thing is, speaking of artists, I've been waiting for Ashcan to get another skill point. And the reason we need that is so that somebody can study the artifacts we picked up way over on a long time ago just on the artifact crash satellite or whatever it is. Oh no, look how many pips I have out here. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I, I don't care. I've got plenty in here, so... Uh... Alright, these ones are getting to work. We get that out of the way of the tree. And do I have any? Have they found any? Yes. Nice. Let's just go here. Sweep. Uh, why? Okay. It looks like there's one there, but there isn't, I guess. My dupes are bored over here, so they're really fast to sweep things. And then we can check if there's any here. Okay. So one thing I wasn't sure about is if this would work um, before this door was locked closed. And I know they can climb down it and they can jump two spaces so they can jump and get away. But now... Um, I just opened it. I wasn't sure if they could crawl along the side of open doors, but apparently not. So they're stuck on this little island. Um, and they planted another arbor tree right here, which is just fine. Yeah, can never get enough. Um, I can't plant more here because they're too close to this, but I could plant some more like up here. Um, you know, as if I had, like, that many eggs. Okay, they planted that one, that's good. I'm not sure how many are over here. I must not have set up the oxygen correctly, because there's just no way. What's that? Okay. Oh, super hot. Okay, I could fix that by putting the ladder across, but whatever. But the real fix for it is to get Atmo suits. Block all of this off from oxygen escaping <laughs> and get Atmo suits put in. But that's not the solution we're going to use. So we want to add. Uh, cartographic module. Okay. Cartographic module. Adds five. Let's make sure we've got room. Height 15 out of 20. Okay. 
pads three burden. Uh, I, I don't know. Why is the speed more now? Because it's lighter? 1.4 tiles. Because we have less petroleum and stuff, maybe. Um, engine power, blah blah blah. Automatically analyzes adjacent space while on a voyage. Must be built via rocket platform. Okay. Steel and plastic. Build. Uh, I should have finished <laughs> refueling the oxygen first, maybe. Okay. And then do I need something in here? What's that? Also, I need to um, change this. I don't think they can reach over. Well, maybe. What am I building out of? No, they can't reach it. I accidentally built a bunch of this out of steel and I had to destroy it. So here, let's see if we can let's see if we can do the trick of connecting without changing. Yeah. Okay, it looks like they can reach it all. So why can't they reach it going up like this? Is something I don't understand. Yeah. So you could have a switch, but we don't have room for all of those things without some major changes. Okay, so we'll try it. Weight plate. And if it's, it allows me to say above or below, right? It's been a while since I used a weight plate. And then we can go like this. Although it's mostly only needed here. Yeah. There. And then they'll sweep up here. This place is a mess. Okay. Ah, why can't you use the scroll bar? So, um, I don't have any place to put polluted water though. Oh, I do now on this planet. I can fix that. Why is it saying that it does have a place? Okay. Um, I don't think it does. Let's see. Okay, so that is built. Okay, this is all refilled except for this because that's all the fertilizer we have. Okay, and I'm definitely tired of waiting, so... What we want to do is we want to go to... Let's go to... Here. Okay, wait. Before I do that, that's five tiles. Let's just make sure. It says ten tiles. Let's save. Uh, no. And let's go. I mean, this is a lot of air, but I guess I'll have to watch it because I don't know if it's enough air for 10 tiles, but I know it's enough for six. Okay, okay, now this can be heralded. Oh, oops. This needs to be enabled. And this one he already did. So I'm gonna go enable it. Excellent, okay. And now, we wait. 
Okay, so I broke down and did a calculation. And with the oxygen that's in here right now, so part of the problem is that those pipes didn't have full oxygen in each one or polluted oxygen. A lot of them were partials. Um, but there's about enough for just over three days inside here. So we went to the star map and changed it to here, which is less than a cycle away. Or cycle, whatever. And then we'll have to like turn around and come right back. <laughs> so, um, so I guess part of how I can get a little more oxygen is to make sure there's full packets in each section of pipe. Which just means, um, you know, filtering this. See, because there are all these packets of small amounts of polluted oxygen. Uh, so we actually want to probably... I'm doing this so I can do plumbing. 0.4 cycles. And let's take a look inside. It's already saying breathability is a problem. Uh, okay. I think, uh, I think it's a problem too. Okay, so he stands over here to work. So this isn't working. So we can fix that next time. Yeah, I just realized my calculation was off, so we have to go back. I will probably have to break these rooms and put in a generator so that I can... Um, I can't look at the outside because I don't have the space on the rocket to build the oxygen tank otherwise. Because I don't think even with full packets that he can go that far. Which means I also need to make room for um, the fitting for the oxygen. Ugh. Okay, deconstruct. Um, yeah, that's fine. I guess I can, I don't know. I don't know if there's a real reason to deconstruct that, but we will. And this will go like that. Because if either one of them is green, then that will turn on. So this will be cancel. Let's just make sure. I don't think we can fit any more height. 20 out of 20. Yeah, we can get rid of this, but... This is the thing that... Let's see, how big is the... gas tank? Gas cargo canister. Height is three. Okay, so we need to get rid of both of these. Shit, that's a lot of energy. <laughs> and then this we need to disable. And I think I can put a wheel right here. Or I could have put a battery in here to download all that. Let's see. Um... Okay, so here we are. We've got our oxygen. It's filling up. It's gonna take a long time. And we don't really have... We're out of algae. <laughs> 
Um, I built a sublimation station so we can use our polluted dirt for that. Um, and I built another one of these. This was not set right and I didn't catch it, so this overpressured before um, before I caught it, so we did probably lose out on some natural gas. On the inside here, I managed to keep all the rooms by moving doors around in a creative way. We put this in the right place, um, and this is all set up to work now, hopefully. Uh, the only thing we don't have is plastic storage, but there's five tons of it right now, and he wasn't going through it that quickly. Um, so all the pipes are full in here, and I used some of the old so we get just that much more storage. This is about a day's worth. Uh, and the tank can hold... Oh, you know, I think I calculated the tank wrong. A day's worth is 60, so this can hold 600 days worth, so we don't need it completely full. Um, but in any case, we will explore with it next time. I know we're gonna... It's gonna be a next time kind of thing. Um, and in current time... Uh, I don't know. Uh, and what's the problem here? Didn't we check dirt? Didn't we just check on dirt? Am I storing too much dirt here? No, I'm not storing any dirt. Okay. Okay, well. That one I'll probably address off screen. <laughs> but, <laughs> for now, Thank you so much for watching. I am PhotonyM. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some cartographic action.